everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jamie Fran Colors. We're here to color a picture from Hannah Carlson's new Midnight Masquerade book. I'm very excited. And if you're excited, do me the favor and hit the like button. It really helps me out. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's down there. Just push the button. Subscribe. It's great. So <laughs> we're going to color a picture in here. I've been sitting here doing my... Um, spring flip through of all the pictures I've colored and I was like everything's set up we should just start a picture in here while I'm sitting here and I'm really this is so cute okay let's do her she's so cute I love it all right and because I'm completely lazy and I don't want to get up and my husband's gonna be home within the hour Let's just start, oh, I'm like bending over you guys, with our Arteza markers because they're sitting right here. So let's start with those. These are the water brush markers. They're like brush tip, that's the word I was looking for. Real brush pens from Arteza. So I'm looking at this picture and I'm thinking pinks and greens and bright colors. So let's see what we can find. Okay. Maybe a bright purple. Guys, it really is about what it's close by at this point. All right, so let's pick, ooh, let's see, light magenta. What does that look like? Oh yes, we need that in our lives. Okay, maybe a pink. I know there's like, should we do bubble bath pink? Or I think there's like a bubble gum pink even. Hot pink. Lilac. Well, I don't see bubble gum. There it is. Bubble gum pink. What does it look like? That's a good pink too. Okay, so we've got magenta and bubble gum pink. Let's see what else should we pick for this picture? Um, let's pick a, she needs pink hair, so let's do, well, orange. I don't know, we need a green, because there are some leaves, so let's pick a nice bright green. This is pale green. But that's pretty. And maybe her hat could be like a blue and then with a lighter stripe. So let's pick a little bit of our darker blue. What is this? Peacock blue. Surprise, surprise. Let's see what it looks like mixed in here. Oh yeah, look how nice that is. Okay. So let's do that. Oh, wait. Right, move those over. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll do her skin with something else. I don't love using water-soluble markers for skin because it's very streaky. And so I get a little, a little panicky about it. All right, let's start with this, though. I don't know what color to do her hair. Okay, let's start with the leaves. We'll just start down here. Let's do that. Okay, so let's do this is pale green A176. And we'll put it on the leaves. Oh, so nice. Ooh, it's raining. It's so nice. I love it. I love it. We used to live in uh, just outside of Portland, Oregon. It rained all the time. I loved it. Now we live in the desert where it hardly ever rains, you know? It's just, it snows and it's boiling hot. Like, those are our two seasons either freezing cold with a foot of snow on the ground or it's 100 degrees. There's just not much in between. So 
really enjoy these days where we get a little rain and a little a little change. It's really nice. Let's put green in her eyes as well. What if she's blonde? That could be fun. We'll have a little blondie. I want an orange. I can't help it. I want an orange. An orange. Orange, orange, orange. What's this? Apricot. Actually, that might be really cute. Okay. So let's do apricot. 124. So I did my last Hannah Carlson picture with the house and the flowers and the birds the same way um, using markers and then putting pencil over the top. And I did have at least one comment that through that process that she thought it was going to be a hot mess and then I added the pencil and it was like magic and it is like magic. I love using the combination of markers and pencils because the pencils really give it that finding touch and make it look finished and beautiful and smooth everything out where the marker really gives you that quick payoff and so the combination is just lovely. So if you haven't tried it, I suggest it. Okay, let's do her hair, Sunset Yellow. This is 156. Kinda has a brown undertone to this yellow, which is nice for hair. And do not worry about covering every single speck with these markers because these markers are not made, I don't think, for large areas. And so it can be very splotchy when you're doing large areas, but I promise the pencils will clean it up and make it look beautiful. I promise. So when I was in high school, I was at my friend's house and she was kind of a newer friend. We didn't go to her house very often. She wasn't like one of my closest friends. So she was a friend, you know, liked her. Um, still like her. Anyways, I was like in her kitchen. All of a sudden, this clown in pink <laughs> walks in her house. And I was like, uh, there's a clown in your house, you know, like what the heck? And it turned out it was the girl's mom. Her mom was a professional clown and her name was Minnie as a clown. She was so cute. I'm not like the biggest fan of clowns because I think they're holding secrets behind that paint, but they can also be very cute. And Minnie was a good clown, so I think her name is Minnie. If I'm wrong and my friend is watching this video, I apologize. But I thought it was really cool that her mom was a clown. Okay, then we have Bubblegum Pink, A149. I want to do the pinks of her cheeks with this color. And then and we have a heart there. So are there any other hearts? I'm going to do all the hearts this pink color. Cute, cute, cute. And all right, and then I want that, I think I want the hat blue, but I'm starting to question my magenta choice. I don't know if we're going to do magenta. Okay, so here we go with the hat. We're gonna put this, what color is this? Peacock blue 123, and I will put it on the screen. So you can see, yeah, I kind of want like a, I don't know, dark denim type kind of hat. Scribbling on. Again, it can look a hot mess. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's all going to be okay. See, it's masterpiece. Do I know? Do I know? 
I don't know. Do I want this magenta color? It is pretty. Okay, what if we do, okay, so we do the underside, the magenta, and then we do the top, the pink, and then we'll put the magenta on the hat so it kind of like, I don't know, sandwiches everything. It's a really pretty color. I'm a fan. Okay. I like it. I like it. All right. I'm going to put that blue. I wasn't sure, but I think I am going to put that blue around the rim as well. And then with our pencils, we'll darken it up so that the rim stands out, but we'll put the same base color. My camera battery is threatening to die. And I think when it does, I will be done for the evening and then come back and finish this video later because my husband is going to be home soon as well. Okay, let's back out and take a look at her. See if we've made all the right choices. I do like the colors. Come on. Don't shake around on me. Come on. Alright, and so I'm going to put that pink, that bubblegum pink down here as well. And then I think we need a brighter yellow to put in the um, candy, like the stars and stuff. And then I also want to put that apricot color somewhere else as well. It's really coming down. Alright, so I'll do all of this pink. Oh, this is, what's this? Bumblebee yellow, which is just a brighter yellow than we did the hair. So we'll put it on the stars. Put it on these as well. We'll make them gold. The little clasps. They're not going to stand out much because it's already against that yellow hair. So it doesn't really do a whole lot. But that's okay. And I want to put that apricot somewhere else as well. So what if we put it like put it behind. Is this apricot? No, this is sunset yellow. Well, that's not what I want. There we go. Just helps like that it's in more than one place. I think I'm going to put it on this sucker as well. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish up the pink, take care of my husband, and then we'll continue on. So I'll be right back. Okay, my husband just called. He's gonna be a few more minutes, so I'm gonna hurry and finish this up. Um, let's take, I put the blue on the dots down here, and I also want to take the green, and I want to do the candy cane striped with green, so it'll be green and white or something. So, just that we have, so we have that green up at the top as well as down on the bottom. Did I charge my battery? No. So we are living on a prayer here, hoping we make it. This is, what is this? Tawny, it's a brown, because we want this popsicle stick to be brown. And then, I don't know, what else should we do here? That might be cute on her 
freckles, but I don't know if I want to put her freckles in yet. So we won't do that yet. And then I'm going to do her face um, next time, probably. And then, so we just have these bobs. I want to put these as like a shimmer or a liquid pearl. So I'm not going to put them in, the little ones. But the big ones, what color are we kind of... What if we did them like gray, kind of like a silvery color, I think. This is dolphin gray. I think we're going to stop this video here with our marker. I know that it looks like a hot mess. I'm well aware of that, but I also know that pencils over these markers are going to be magical. You know what we'll do? We'll do the pencils next time and then we'll do the face in the third video to bring it all together so that we don't leave this marker just a hot mess for too long. I think that will work really well. I'm going to take that apricot. Where did that apricot go? I'm going to do this like swirly one with apricot. There are odd number. Do you see this? It is not even. <laughs> I feel like I've been, I've been had. Oh well. This one is. This one worked. This one did not work. All right, you guys, there's our marker on this. I think this is gonna be a beautiful page. I love all the vibrant colors. The marker's really gonna make it pop. And then those pencils are really gonna pull it together and bring the detail in. And of course, we're gonna use some shimmers and some liquid pearls on here too to really make it beautiful. So I hope you guys come back to see me finish this one. I think we'll do two more videos on here. One adding all the pencil on what we've already done and then another one to do the face and finishing touches. So please, please, please come back for that. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. It helps me out a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I hope you guys find time to relax, enjoy yourself, do something for yourself. I give you permission to go buy that pencil you wanted or to go take a bubble bath or to go get your hair done. Like you can do those things. Indulge in yourself a little bit, find time to relax, enjoy yourself, de-stress, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.